This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up VLANs within PFSense and then also with the Netgear uh, Manage Switch and a Netgear Access Point. Alrighty, let's get started. Go to PFSense, then go to Assignments, hit VLAN, and we're going to click Add. Select the right interface and your VLAN tag. I'm going to use 10. All right, I'm going to make a second one for this demonstration. This will be uh, number 20, and this will be the not safe for LAN, VLAN. The devices like your Alexas or your TVs. Now we're going to go and enable name and uh, assign an address to them. So we're going to go here, we're going to click Add, Add, Save. Now we're going to select the interface that we just created. We're going to enable it. We're going to name it, in this case, VLAN 10. We're going to assign an address to it. And it will be 192.168.10.254. Because it's VLAN 10, it just makes it easier to manage. Hit Apply. All right, now we're going to go do the other one. We're going to do all the same things except for the address will be 20.254 because it's VLAN 20. Hit save, then apply. Now we're going to get the DHCP servers configured for these VLANs. So go to services and then DHCP server. Select VLAN 10, enable, and then now we're going to pick the range. I'm just going to do 1 to 50, but that's up to you. It doesn't really matter either way. Can I hit save? We're going to go to VLAN 20, we're going to enable it, then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a range in. Save. And now we're going to go to the web GUI of our VLAN capable switch. In my case, it's a Netgear GS305E. I'm going to go to VLAN, 8021Q, Advanced, and then VLAN Configuration. I'm going to enable it and then click Apply. Now we're going to add the VLAN IDs, so it'd be 10 and 20. And I put two little slides here if you wanted to pause and screenshot them for reference. And now we're going to go to VLAN membership, select 10. I'm going to tag 5 because that's where my switch is. And then I meant to tag 3 right here, but I did not. 3 is where my access point is. I'm going to do the same thing with 20. So tag 5, then untag all of them except for 3 I needed to tag. Now we're going to go to port PVID and we're going to assign the PVIDs. By default, this one's going to be 10. 1 and 2 are going to be 20. And 3 and 4 will be 10. And again, reference those uh, screens that I had a few moments ago, because that was the part that confused me, was the PVID and the tagging. I want to go ahead and untag everything in VLAN 1. There's a lot of problems that occur, and if you want to research it more, you can, but I'm not going to go into it during this. Now, I threw in some snapshots here to kind of explain why I did what and what's connected to what. Like you'll see that this is the three VLANs and then what devices I actually have connected to them. Now we're going to go back to PFSense. We're going to go to Status and DHCP Leases to make sure that there is a 20 lease. Now that we've confirmed that, we're going to go to Firewall and Rules. I'm going to select the VLAN and click Add. And for now, we're just going to have a default any to any rule. But you do want to lock this down later on. And I'll go over Firewall Rules in another video, or there's plenty of them on YouTube already. 
So now we're going to hit apply, and we're just going to hit the little square button right here to duplicate it, and we're going to change the interface. Now we're selecting VLAN 20, we're going to hit save, and then apply. Once you've applied, we're going to reboot PFSense. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to speed that up. And we're done. Now we want VLANs to go across Wi-Fi. So go to the web goo of your access point. I will be doing mine, which is a Netgear WAX 610. Go ahead and sign in. And click Management. Then we're going to click IP. Then we're going to click LAN. Then we're going to select Management VLAN, change that to a 10, change the untagged VLAN to 10. Then we're going to hit Apply. Hit Proceed. Now we're going to go to Wireless, Basic. Now we're going to select the SSID that we want to be in a particular VLAN. So I'm going to change this one to 10. And then I'm going to change this one to 20, as this one is my IoT network, my not safe for LAN network. So hit apply. That's it. Now we're going to go back to PFSense. We're going to assign some static IP addresses and network equipment. Just makes things easier. Copy the MAC address from my switch. Then I'm going to go over here to VLAN 10. I'm going to select Add. I'm going to paste that MAC address. I'm going to assign the IP address I want it to have. And then a description. Describe what it is. Hit Save. Hit Apply. Now I'm going to go and do my access point, just like I did my switch. Sign the IP address I want it to have. Put a description here. I'm going to hit save, and then apply. Now we're going to clear the DHCP leases. Now let's go ahead and reboot PFSense. That's done. We're going to switch over to our access point that we're going to reboot it to. And that's it. Thanks for watching.